Good morning, friend. Today we are going to discuss about the rejuvenation of the liver. In geomorphology, a liver is said to be rejuvenated when it is eroding the landscape in response to lowering of the base level. Liver always attempt to reach the state of dynamic equilibrium. That is the balance between the rate of erosion and deposition. Equilibrium. The balance between the rate of erosion and deposition. Over a long period of time, the reverse generally is smooth concave profile. However, from time to time, that sometimes the changes or the this de establish the equilibrium has been formed, and this causes the river to vertically erode its channel and to re-establish its smooth concave profiles. So therefore the rejuvenation involves rejuvenation involves a renewed period of vertical erosion period of vertical erosion to achieve a new base level. For example, This is the condition of before rejuvenation that these are the tributary strings and this is the block time. So after rejuvenation, what has happened here? I just creates a new base level with vertical erosion and this is there is a form of nick point this is the original course of the river and now the region river flowing the valley in valley this is creating a river terrace There is a form of rapids. So this is the condition that before rejuvenation and the after rejuvenation of the river valley. So there are you now several causes of rejuvenation. So the 
several causes of rejuvenation. That is the, it may be the dynamic, eustatic, that is the changes in the base level, or isostatic, that is the state of gravitational equilibrium between the heart thrust and the mantle. So what are the changes of the river to erode this bit vertically? It gains the gravitational potential energy, that is the energy that is related to the gravitational field. So first you can say there are dynamic equilibrium So dynamic uh, rejuvenation this dynamic rejuvenation that is caused by the epigenetic uplift uplift of the landmass like wrapping or folding of a drainage basin that will stiffen the stream gradient followed by the down cutting of the uh, river valley like If the river pool, if there is a faulting is caused, which is ca causing a new base level of the river that is uh, caused due to the faulting or the dynamic rejuvenation. However, this dynamic rejuvenation is caused, there, that may be due to the wrapping, faulting or volcanic activity or the tectonic activity like that. Next coming to the eustatic rejuvenation. This eustatic rejuvenation or the result from the worldwide decrease in sea level. or increase in volume of water in the sea fall that was the deterioration of fall in sea level or the base level Our changes in sea level that is brought about by the growth or decay of the ice sheets and are called the glacial eustatic changes to distinguish them from the eustatic changes which may result from the variation in the capacity of the ocean basins. And the third one is the static rejuvenation. The static rejuvenation that is that may be caused with the decrease in load that is to decrease in load to plus during the post glacial time along the many river valleys that formerly received the large quantity of the glacial outwash. However, the change 
to no glacial conditions stream load decrease and the valley dripping ensued increase in runoff that increase in runoff due to the increase in rainfall that is caused due to the climatic changes that is additional flow of that brings the more energy and which can defer can erode and transport the materials and increase stream volume these changes will become less obvious that is the the downstream has the difference in height between the old and new valley and they adjusted the problem become less how this type of conditions is very less evident so due to rejuvenation there are different types of landforms has been found in our as you have provided first is the neat points these are called the neat points that is a sharp break up slope is found in the smooth concave long profile of river and this zone is known as zone of incision it is usually marked by the presence of a waterfall and at this point the vertical erosion is associated with the rejuvenate as it greatest next the incised meanders the narrow and deep meanders form due to the acceleration of the rate of valley incision that is caused by the rejuvenation which is called the uh, incised meanders and this can be divided into two category one is the entrance meanders and another one is the inbound meanders in entrance meanders that is caused by the vertical erosion and the form and slope of both side of the river valley and in inbound meanders there is a lateral as well as the vertical erosion it having the steep slope on outside of the bend next coming to the river terrace at the old stage of the river it form a flat and broad valley and if the rejuvenation is occurred at this stage river cuts down the valley and a new valley is formed
this is the river and this is the tears on the tears two so the diff number of tears has been developed when river uh, receives a series of impulses which lead to the formation of number of tears so there are two types of tears one is the pair tears and another is the unpaired in pair tears that is the both sides of the flat plane having the same height and in the unpaired when the lateral migration is dominant compared to the incision this causes the unpaired tears another important features that is caused due to the river distribution is the valley in valley valley in valley These are the old valley, and new valley is developed here. Also, it is known as the two-cycle valley or multi-cycle valley. Cycle or multi-cycle valley. Thank you for watching this video.